Hey, what's going on everybody? So if you guys saw the last video in the knot series on the Rapala knot and were a little bit intimidated on all those extra steps, today's video is about that knot I was telling you that was gonna kind of alleviate those but still give you that loop that you're looking for. All right, stick around, here it is. So if you wanna check out the logistics of why we use this type of knot with these set of baits, go ahead and click on the Rapala knot video that I posted just previous to this or maybe it's a video before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda get right into this knot, cause like I said, you can go check out the details of why we use it there. But it's gonna start off the same exact way. We're gonna take the tag end of our main line and we're just gonna tie a simple overhand knot in it. And you guys are gonna love, absolutely love how simple this knot is, okay? So we're just gonna tie a simple overhand knot in it so we have our loop, right? We're gonna take our bait, we're gonna put the tag end of our main line through the eye of our bait, okay? We're gonna take the tag end of our main line and put it up through the loop that we initially made. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that the, the distance from our lure that we want. This is the point that you decide here. Cinch this down initially starting, especially when you're using uh, fishing line, because if you don't, what's gonna end up happening in the next step is you're gonna pull this down to your eye and we don't want that. We want to keep this loop. So once you have that, you know, kind of cinched in place right there where you want it, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our main line, hold it up. We're gonna take the tag end of our main line and we're gonna make one overhand knot and cinch that down right to your initial knot. We're gonna take the tag end of our main line and do one more overhand knot, cinch it down, and that's it. We're done. We're gonna cut that and we're finished. Um, this knot, I tied this for years, years, years. I only started tying the Rapala knot uh, I don't know, maybe two years ago when I found it because you know, I was like, hey, that, that definitely is a little bit stronger. But this knot I tied for years, and like I said in the last video, as long as you're conscious that you don't have, you know, a polymer knot tied on, and you know, you're not out there trying to pull fish through the weeds with a knot like this tied on, the benefits, of, I'm telling you, the benefits of having that loop in front of your eye as opposed to being directly cinched down are bar none beyond the, the, I mean, the possibility of losing the fish, because you're, I mean, you're just gonna get hit so much more on those types of lures. Now, like I said, it's gonna be on you to feather that drag and, you know, use the, the right line and rod, but this, unless you're fighting a big old 30 pound fish or, you know, you're using a, a ridiculous tackle setup, you're gonna have to be pulling extremely, extremely, extremely hard to pull this knot out. And if you're really worried about it, you know, just make your tag in uh, after you cut it just a little bit longer. So just a quick one for y'all today in today's video. I don't even think I'm gonna go ahead and show you with regular line. I mean, that's pretty simple. It's just, you know, a loop in your main line, get it where you want it, and then two overhand knots directly above it, cinching it down, boom, boom, no problems and you got it. I guess I could call this the uh, clinched loop. Uh, I'm sure it's got a name. If you guys know the name of it, please put it in the comments below. So if you've been liking the videos in this knot series, go ahead and hit that like button below. Hit the subscribe button. We got a bunch more of these videos coming out that you guys are gonna wanna stick around for. All right, I'm Mike G. This is Large Mouth Blast, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.